What is up? It's Andy on your favorite day of the week, the day you get to become born again on Monday when your account is at zero. You're starting fresh today unless you've once again bet on Indian cricket at like four in the morning and it's one o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday and you're somehow already in the red. But don't you worry, we got some NHL sniffs tonight a couple weeks before the playoffs here. We're almost there, but we got some things to sort out. We got some wild cards to sort out, specifically in the East. And I feel, or should I say, I sniff that these results on Monday are going to make teams who you thought were out of it seem back into it, and teams who you thought were in it might be on the cusp of being out of it. That's what I think is going to happen here on this Monday night. I'm going to give you some of my favorite picks, but I do want to remind you, tread lightly because this final month of the season, it's it's showing us ruckus. You're getting ruckus left and right. Even just look at yesterday, Colorado Avalanche, they dominate the Arizona Coyotes a couple nights back. Then they're up 2-0 in the third period. Then the game just turns upside down. You're still going to see this in this final month of the season. The Dallas Stars have everything to play for. They were the number one seed in their division, the division that we have Colorado in, and they just throw in a full mail-in performance against Vancouver, who apparently you bet on Vancouver every night and you win now. So there's still a lot of ruckus, so tread lightly, but I'm still going to give you some of my sniffs that I have for this Monday, a couple weeks before the playoffs are in. I'm going to start with a fan favorite because, you know, we don't know if Ryan Strom's going to be making the playoffs this year. Actually, we do. He's not. He's on the Anaheim Ducks, and Ryan Strom was one of our best money makers, and we're not going to get a chance to bet against him. But we're going to do that tonight. We're going to do that tonight on Bet365 because Bet365, not only do they let you combine overs and unders with money lines and point props, you can even take the under on those point props. Back at Caesars, you had to figure out who was going to get a point, but you couldn't take the under on the point with a total or money line. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to take the Colorado Avalanche, our team, who we've been watching 8-2 and two in their last 10. And if they win and get a result that they need from Minnesota... They'll be in first place in that division. So how are we feeling about those Colorado bets? So what I'm going to do, I got two separate bets for Col this Colorado game. Number one, give me the Avalanche to win and our fan favorite Ryan Strom to not register a point. And this is available on Bet365 along with a great promotion, a fantastic promotion. Bet $1 on this. Bet $1 on that bet that I just told you. If you're a new user on Bet365, they're going to put $365 in bet credits in your account. You just got to be over 21 or located in a state or a province where sports betting is permitted. So what you're going to do is go under half of a point for Ryan Strom, take the avalanche to win the game, and then after you place that bet, 365 waiting in your account. But remember, if you got a problem and you did bet cricket and you already are penniless, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Somebody will be there to help you out. So for those of you who don't have that, don't worry. I got something else where we're going to take the Colorado avalanche because look, I get it. You don't want to just keep saying Colorado Avalanche. I was scared to take him against the Leafs a little while back at the game after Lekkanen got injured. But they're handling these bad teams. Eve by hook or by crook, they just beat Arizona twice in a row. And the same way I wanted uh, the revenge. Who was it that we took for the revenge factor the other night? Uh, but, 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 uh, yes, Calgary going back into Anaheim to event and. Anaheim, Anaheim to avenge that three to one loss. Colorado got beat on their home ice by Anaheim. And going back to Anaheim, they keep feeding us. They lost to the Islanders who needed points. They lost to Calgary who needed points. They lost to the Jets who needed points. And now they're losing to our boys, the Colorado Avalanche. Now I know the money line size. So the other thing I'm going to give you, I'll take the Avalanche to win and Anaheim to score under three and a half goals. Not an unbelievable line, but it brings it to like minus 175. And the only thing we have to be concerned about is Gorgiev ain't going to be playing because he played yesterday. But this is one of those situations that I'm willing to roll with the backup. I think the Avalanche are going to pull this one out. I mean, they conceded one goal 
in that first game. And then they, they conceded nothing until that ruckus of a third period. We're seeing the Colorado team with their full stable of defensemen for like the first time all season. Really? Because, you know, with Johnson back and then they traded for Jack Johnson again, they got their full allotment of defensemen. And I believe they're going to start keeping pucks out of their net at a uh, at a better rate that they were previously. So those are my assortment of avalanche bets. Now I can give you sniffs, I can give you this, I can give you that, but why don't we go to Bo Horvat? That did not mean to rhyme. I know once in a while it sounds like I'm freestyling. Bo, 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 Bo Horvat cashed for us a couple times last week. And the reason I'm going to go back to it. Not, so he's actually struggling. We, we bet on him to register a point against the Jackets and it happened, but that was his only point in like 10 games. So while he's been struggling to score, he's actually been shooting the puck. It makes sense. He's in a slump, so he's trying to actually fire more pucks to the net. I believe he's went over two and a half shots for five straight games and against the Devils, I'm going to look for him to continue that. So give me the over two and a half shots on goal for Bo Horvat. All right, now... I'm going to give you a couple sniffs because you guys, you come here, you don't want just picks, you want sniffs. So there are two underdogs that I think have a good chance of kind of winning their games on my... I believe the whole scheme on Monday, the teams who are... But by the way, I'm not taking this... I don't care. I know I said I'll never take the Sabres. I don't care if you give me a, a, a Houston Texans line. And I'm still continuing. I don't care. Canadians, they won two in a row. I don't care. Not touching them. Don't trust their goalie. Don't trust their defense. I don't care. However, that Ottawa-Florida game has high rat potential. Ottawa's actually sneaky, sneakily played pretty well in these last couple of games. They almost got a win in New Jersey, had a lead, and it was going back and forth against Florida in their building. Speaking of building, I'm going to build a Kachuk parlay. You ready? Whether it's Caesars or Bet365, I want Brady Kachuk to register a point, Matthew Kachuk for an assist, and then the Senators at plus one and a half. But I do think the Senators are going to win this one to yank them a little back to just being in the conversation. Because, you know, it, it became a three horse race. But now Buffalo sneaking some wins if Ottawa sneaks a win. And that kind of goes to the other part. I think Florida and the Isles are probably going to be losing. And the other underdog that I like is the Seattle Kraken. After that big win against Nashville, they lost in overtime to Nashville, but that was a close game. Then they crushed Nashville. Now they're going to Minnesota. I still think Minnesota is more susceptible to losses post Kaprizov. We saw them lose to Philadelphia. We saw them lose to Boston. I think I think Kraken have a good shot of winning, although plus one and a half. You want to do a plus one and a half parlay? Give me the Sens at plus one and a half, Kraken plus one and a half. I think those are two good shots for teams who are going to potentially cover this Monday. And that's what I got for you. Yeah, it was a little bit all over the board. Do you want me to run it back a little bit? Colorado, no Strom, Bo Horvat shots, Sens plus one, Kraken plus one and a half. Yeah, I'm not saying all these things. Good luck to you. Better luck to me. Make sure you're subscribed to the Odd Shopper channel here. I got good news. I tested the Sniff Drip sweatshirt. I washed it. Colors are still good. I, was, I don't want to screw you people. I want to make sure you're getting good stuff. I ordered test stuff. There's not, it was, it's going to be still on track to be ready for playoffs, but didn't really shrink. Colors are still good. Everything looks good, and I'm still working on the designs. It should be good for playoffs. Come follow me on Instagram, where I dropped a couple of pics over the weekend on my story and in the, in the Sniff Central chat. You should definitely come check that out, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. See you later.